Hey everybody, I'm here to do a book tag that I wanted to do at home this weekend, like after work when I actually had my books with me that I could show you, but I just didn't have a chance to do it uh, because I never had a chance to film because there were people everywhere. Important. I am going to be doing the Seven Deadly Sins of Reading tag. Uh, this was adapted from a beauty tag by Bookishly Meliza and I'll put all the relevant links below in the down bar and all that and it's seven sins seven questions more or less I'll just get started the first one is what is your most expensive book and what is your least expensive book I wish I could show you maybe I can find a picture of it online or something but I've never seen it anywhere else um, my most expensive book which I did not buy, thankfully, is the um, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling Collector's Edition. And it's a leather-bound hardback. It's got, I think, the gold leaf trimmed edges of the pages. And there's also a, a full-size poster version of the cover artwork inside that you can take out and actually hang as a poster, but I've always left it there because I didn't want it to get ruined. And that cost about $75 retail. That's the price on it. Um, I, this was actually a gift, and I think it was on. It, it, I think my mom had a coupon when she bought it. It was from a uh, Borders Express store years ago, and it was probably cost her about sixty dollars. But that's still very expensive. But I, I really like to have it just as you know, it's a collector's edition, and I like to have it just as a collectible item. I would never actually read that version of it because I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> This is it's the only it's the only one I've ever seen like that. Apparently, that was the only one they actually had at the store. It was the second book too. I've never seen the rest of the series. Really weird, but whatever. Um, also, my least expensive book. I have a lot of books that I've gotten for free, but I decided not to count those. The least expensive books that I've actually bought for a price, just a cheap price, would be um, probably the lowest lowest one is um, it's a Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone movie poster book that I got for a dollar at a Borders outlet store um, when they used to actually have those stores when they used to have Borders at all and then I have a lot of used books that I got for like two or three dollars or something like that but uh, that was the most that was the cheapest one that I ever got new was that poster book if that counts the second question, or second deadly sin, is wrath. Which author do you have a love-hate relationship with? Um, this is a really, really hard question for me. I thought about it a lot, and finally I decided on Maria B. Snyder, who is the author of the Study Series, um, the Glass Series, the Insider Series, and now there's a new series that the first, I don't know, the... Avery of Kazan. I don't know what the series is actually called, but the first book is Touch of Power. And I own all of her novels that she has out right now. Uh, her very first book, which I absolutely loved, was Poison Study. Then the rest of that series kind of went from yeah, really good moments and some meh moments. The Glass series, I didn't really care for that much, mainly because of the main character and the romance love triangle slash square going on, which I, I just was not a fan of. Um, I've yet to read her other books, but they sound really interesting. And I'm kind of putting off, after I read the Glass series, like, so soon, like, I, I pretty much read it. I read it all within the same month, which I, I always try not to do with the series. That is... Um, already fully out. I, I try to space it out a little bit. Uh, I, I feel like I was a little bit burned out by her, and so I, I'm waiting to start Inside Out, which is uh, the next book of hers that I have, and hoping that I, I go back to more of the love feelings <laughs> with that. The next sin is gluttony. Uh, what book have you deliciously devoured over and over with no shame whatsoever? Definitely the series that I have read the most times is the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. Um, unless I count really, like, kitty picture type books, which I'm not going to do. That would probably be the flip book by Dr. Seuss 
And the one I've read the most times is going to be the first one, Harry Potter and the Sorcerers, here in the U.S. or anywhere else, the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Because anytime I'd reread the series, I'd start with the first one. And, you know, I'd reread them anytime a new book slash movie came out, and I'd start with the first one. So, obviously, that is the one that I have read the most. I've lost count of how many times that is, but uh, it's, it's up there. It's a lot. <laughs> the next sin is Sloth. What book have you neglected reading due to laziness? I sadly have a lot of books on my shelf that I have owned for quite a few years that I have not read for one reason or another but the number one that sticks out to me is a bind up of the Lord of the Rings trilogy by J.R.R. Tolkien and I've seen all the movies I actually saw all the extended editions of the movies and I enjoyed them with probably the exception of the second one I thought was a little bit too boring and, and draggy but for some reason or another I can just I have not gotten around to reading the books because it, it's long. It's not that long for considering it's a bind up of three. But it's. I, I just haven't felt like it that much. And I, I keep meaning to. I don't know. Someday. It will It will happen someday. I, I just don't know when yet. The next sin is pride. Uh, what book do you most talk about in order to sound like a very intellectual reader? This one. I have to actually say nothing because. I do not consider myself to be an intellectual reader whatsoever. The next and second to last sin is lust. What attributes do you find most attractive in male or female characters? Um, I'm going to go with male since that is the sex to whom I am attracted. And I tend to like um, teasing kind of just guys with a sense of humor is what I, I like the best. Uh, flirtatious and teasing guys that make me laugh. Uh, the number one that springs to mind is Henry Tilney from Northanger Abbey, who I really like a lot. Um, and I definitely do not like guys who are jerks or controlling um, anything like Edward Cullen at all. I do not like. Um, for girls, though, just to, for completeness sake, in a female character, I like a girl to have a brain who is not an idiot and who actually does stuff and try. Even if she fails, she at least tries to get stuff done. That's a uh, kind of an, an open answer there. Not nothing too. I don't know. I'm not thinking about too specific ideas, but I don't like whiny girls who just don't do anything and or just have no personality whatsoever, aka Bella Swan. So basically, I like characters who are the opposite of Edward and Bella is what <laughs> it sounds like for this one. The next, last, and seventh deadly sin is Envy. Um, what books would you like to receive as a gift? I would like to receive every book in the world as a gift, honestly, and then I could just get rid of and then donate or give away the ones that I don't want, but it, that would make things definitely a lot easier for me. But for this, I had to end up saying um, the Song of Ice and Fire series in, like, real book form because I own the first four books in ebook form and I've read the first two on my e-reader, but I don't know, even owning an e-reader, which I think is very, it's convenient definitely, I guess, for on the go and has a lot of cool features and... I like to be able to read public domain books on it for free on the e-ink screen because I have tried in the past to read them on the computer and reading on an LCD monitor really, it just does not work out for me. It hurts my eyes and I, I can't do it. But it's not the same for me to not own the physical book. But And so I have <laughs> had to stop myself Many times I've been on the point of buying uh, this series in physical book form in, in because even though I technically own them, it's just not the same. It doesn't feel like it's part of a collection. It feels like separate. I don't know. Part of my reading it, it, like compulsion, I guess, is to own books as a collection. And just having an ebook form just feels like it's not included in that. 
because I'm weird and I'm old school, I guess, that I still like physical books. I don't know, I'm not hip. But anyway, that concludes the Seven Deadly Sins of Rating Tag. Um, I'm not going to tag anyone in particular. I just tag anybody who happens to watch this and I didn't do it. And I'll see you guys later.